Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Becky. Today we're going to be talking about all the great things that I have found on Amazon to update my townhouse and the new place that I'm living. So if you're interested in Amazon home decor, stay tuned. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I am now in a new home. I had to move out of my house over at that my marital home and I'm getting sep I'm separated and I'm living in my townhouse over about 45 minutes from my house. And we've owned this house since 2020, since right after COVID for a lot of different reasons. Um, but it, so I had this place and I stayed here, but it was kind of like our second home. So I never really decorated it up to like how I would want to live if it was my home, like my permanent home. So um, I have, now that I'm living here permanently, I've been spending a lot of time nesting and trying to make it feel like home. And it's just me and my youngest son here now. And my youngest son is getting ready to move into an apartment for college. So it's just gonna be me and my pup and his cat pretty soon, which is okay. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the fantastic things that I found on Amazon that I have used to kind of spruce up the place. So let's get started. We're gonna start here in my kitchen. I have the little kitchen nook off the side of my, there's an island there, you'll see in a second, but I used to have some shelves there with mason jars with spices and stuff. I got rid of that and opted for this sideboard that you'll see in more detail in a second. This mirror that's on the wall here is from Wayfair. It was on clearance. I will try and link it if I can still find it. But this book that I'm highlighting here is called The Art of Home by Shay McGee. It is super popular on Amazon. It is a gorgeously done book. The photos in there and the way she styles is just right up my alley. I love thumbing through it and looking through the pictures. And every once in a while, I'll kind of go through and change up the photo just to kind of keep it interesting. And I have it on a black acrylic book stand. They also have that in clear on Amazon. And of course, it'll be linked down below. These black taper candle holders are so good. They come in a set of three. The first one here doesn't have any of the detailing on the stem like the other two do. But if you can see, it has the little detail that it's just ever so subtle and I really like it. This does go for, um, it does take narrow candles though, I will say. Um, these are just some books that I had. This is the sideboard that I got. Okay, can we just talk about how cute my dog is for a second? Like, that's my Jax. Anyhow, I digress. I'm sorry he's in the way, but this is a sideboard. It is called, it's from Walker Edison. It's a Scandinavian fluted door sideboard in coastal oak and black. I'm gonna go back here for just a second and talk about this vase and these stems that I got from Amazon. This vase is from Signature Design by Ashley. It's a 17 inch vase in antique tan. I do believe they have it in black too. And then these stems are absolutely gorgeous. They are, they come in a set of four. They're 43.3. Yeah, they're 43.3 inches and they're called Green Nandina faux branches. They are really super cute. I put two of these jute runners in my kitchen. They're from New Loom. They're chunky jute runners. They're two foot by six inches um, and then by six foot. They're in an off-white color. They're wearing very well in my kitchen, surprisingly. I just run the vacuum on the um, floor setting over them and they've been holding up really nicely. I love them. I've gotten several of these olive branch stems. They're 28 inches. I've gotten a couple of sets of these. They're so realistic. I have them put in a pot that I got from Target. 
These are very gorgeous silk cherry blossom branches. They come in a set of five in white. I have two sets of these. Actually, I have some in my foyer also in a pot that I got from Marshall's. This pot is actually from Pottery Barn, this vase. I have a slight pillow obsession, as you'll see. This is a um, some pillow covers that I got from Amazon, obviously. These, I love the little pom-pom detail. They're called um, velvet, soft velvet. They're 24 by 24 is the size of that pillow. The other two pillows I got from Target. And these are more of the olive stems that I got. And I also wanted to show you this antique brass cordless battery charged lamp. It has three shades. And you just touch the button and it goes on to three different shades, brighter, and then it turns off. It is so cute, and I love that I don't have to have cords hanging down because I don't have any plugs right here behind my couch. I wanted to show you the detail of these olive branches. They're just so realistic looking. Over in this corner, I created a little reading nook, and I got this floor lamp. It is dimmable. It has a linen shade with a black base, and I got it from, obviously, Amazon, too. I did that. It doesn't get turned on very often, but I love the look of it. These are more faux stems. These are eucalyptus stems in the color burgundy, just for something a little bit different. I thought they were really pretty and added a nice touch to this vase that I got from Target, and it sits on my TV stand. I apologize for the lighting here, but I wanted to show you these curtains that I got. These are in a color called Natural Linen H Versal Tech, and they are 108 inch curtains, and they come in a set of two. So I got two packs of two, so I have two panels on each side of my window. But they're really nice and sheer, so they let the light in, but in the nighttime, they're kind of hard to see through when you're down on the street, because that is on the second level. This is a half bath off of my kitchen, and I've been trying to upgrade from the contractor grade lighting that we had that came with the place. Um, this is an Epson Black Vanity Light. It's got three lights. I did have to buy the light bulbs separately, they are Edison lights. They came in a pack of six, and I'll leave those linked down below also. And then I did also upgrade the faucet, but I got that from Home Depot. The mirror there is from Walmart, and it was on clearance too. I think it was like $50. If, it, if they still have it, I'll leave it linked down below. These soap dispensers are from Vine Creations. They're in white glass. They do come in a pack of two, and I love the brass, gold, brassy detail handle pump is what I'm trying to say. You do put the stickers on once you get them, so you don't have to have the stickers on them if you don't want, but I prefer to have them because I like want to have a hand soap and a dish soap. Then this little tray I got too, it is um, a vanity tray. They are eight and almost a half inches by three inches and they absorb the water so it doesn't get on the granite and they don't slip around and stuff. And it dries really fast. I'm very impressed with this. These are also uh, from that H Versalex. They have really nice curtains. These are actually blackout curtains. They're also in the natural linen color. I really like the pattern on this material and the backing is really nice because sometimes we watch TV down here. So we like to have it um, blacked out. 
don't mind my messy desk um, or my goodwill box of things that are going away. That's a welcome to moving. But um, yeah, and then I got these lamps. These are uh, flax linen shades and the floor lamp is in a wood. And I actually had to order these twice because I got the shades in two different colors. So they were kind enough to send me an extra shade because I did buy two of them. So these are two canisters. They come in a set of two. They're glass jars. They are airtight. They're 68 ounces. I like to keep my dog treats in them. And then I actually have another one that has like little dog pickup bags, but they do keep the treats nice and fresh. So if you were didn't want to put dog treats in here, if you wanted to put like cookies or a flower or something else, they are airtight, which I really appreciate. This is one of those Safave, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm saying that wrong, I know I am, but the Fave Reflection Collection Area Rug. It's a six foot by seven inch beige and cream circular because I have to put my dining room table between my kitchen and my living room. So I got this round table. Actually, I got the dining room table on Facebook Marketplace and these chairs were from Crate and Barrel, but I love, love, love this carpet. It's so plush and it just goes with everything. And then of course, what home doesn't have an echo dot for miss amazon and miss alexa to play your music and let you know when you get your amazon packages delivered thank you for watching this amazon haul i hope you found something that you like that you might think about um, adding to your home leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're doing any updating to your home with decor or just things in general like doing getting rid of some of the contract grade stuff like I am doing um, in my side bathroom. I'm kind of trying to go through the house. It's a process though, it takes some time. So I feel like there's so many more things I've added to my home that as I was going through, I could have shown you, but we would have been here all day. So I know I was a little scattered, a little all over the place. So I hope you enjoyed this video, a little glimpse into my, my new home, my new nesting place. And um, my son is getting ready to move to school next week. I can't believe it. The summer is over and fall is upon us. So fall fashion is coming and I am here for it. I wish the temperatures would reflect the fall season, but September is right around the corner. And that means fall, that means pumpkins, that means harvest, all the things. And I can't wait to start decorating for the fall season too with my wardrobe and my house. So stay tuned up for upcoming. I'm gonna do another closet edit soon for the fall and show you my TikTok target closet hack. So stay tuned for that video next. If you're enjoying this video and like this content, please like this video, leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.